Welcome to another Woods Report. Okay, so this is going to be a quick video, all right? Because in our series of talking about prepping, mm -hmm. right? So we're not, again, we give you guys advice for just regular people. Mm -hmm. We're not, you know, we don't have uh, antennas on our heads and, crystal you know, balls. crystal balls and all this other stuff where people think of preppers. We just give y'all basic prepping, okay? Mm -hmm. So, even FEMA tells you, you need to have at least three days of food. I say a week, one week. Mm -hmm. It can be overwhelming if you try to become like a major prepper overnight. Mm -hmm. So, like for me, I always think I want to prep for a year, okay? Most people aren't going to think prep for a year. Okay. That's overwhelming. That's, a lot. That's overwhelming. So what I want to do is get you guys to start thinking, break it down week by week by week. Mm -hmm. So just say right now, I'm going to prep for one week. Okay. For food, food shortages that are coming. Wow. Now, I believe that there's food shortages that are coming. I believe the writing is on the wall. I believe that there's a, there's going to be a breakdown in the chain of how things move. Okay. It could mm -hmm. be anything. It could be, you know, a, a conflict uh, with war or it could mm -hmm. be some major disaster. We had an issue with um, COVID and people was lined up at the grocery store buying food. So anything could happen mm -hmm. where everybody should have at least one week of food to cover them, in their, in their pantry. Or pay for Try food. to make it food that is not in your refrigerator mm -hmm. or food in your freezer. Because I see some of these prepping channels and they have their freezers packed. What you gonna do if the electricity, electricity go out? Then you go, oh, I got a, uh, I got a, a generator. generator. Okay, so what you gonna do when the, when you don't have no gas to put in your generator? Oh, I got solar power. Okay, what you gonna do when the 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 uh, there ain't no sun out for a week because the clouds <laughs> blocking the sun? Oh, I got a windmill. Okay, so you gonna go out there and just just, uh, just get stuff that don't have to be in a refrigerator or a freezer. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. no problem with having the stuff in the refrigerator and the freezer because that's good if you like, you know, it's a thunder, uh, snowstorm or mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. and you can't get out or whatever and you got right. food. You don't have to go to the grocery store. Right, right. But I'm saying prep for something if you can't get out, mm -hmm. there's no electricity, whatever. Wow. Pantry food, okay? Mm -hmm. So, one week, give yourself breakfast, lunch, and dinner and then snacks, if you want to have something to eat for snacks. Mm -hmm. We Americans, we greedy as I don't know what. Right. You go to other countries and they talk about prepping, and they just be like, you want some rice? We got some rice and beans. We prepping snacks right. over here. So that, that shows you where we are as <laughs> Americans. So, going through, you gotta right, right. Snacks. We got to have snacks. So it's like, okay. All right, so let's start okay. off with breakfast. So mm -hmm. him, uh, pancakes, pancakes. Get you a pancake mix like this. Mm -hmm. That's all, everything is already in it. Water, right? Add water. All you have to do is add water. Okay. I have gotten different brands, and my family, they don't like different brands of pancakes. I don't care. You don't care, but my mother. My mom does. She will leave okay. a whole box of pancake mix open. Is that how spoiled we are? And not use it. But if you get... If, if you a, don't like a certain brand. Watch, you get in a situation where you can't oh, get your you'll brand. Oh, you'll eat it then. You'll eat it then. So since this is the brand, try to get food your family eats, if mm -hmm. possible. Why Why hassle? Let, let them at least have that. If the electricity is out or whatever, mm -hmm. can they at least have a pancake that they you know, like to the taste they like? <laughs> so pancakes, okay? And if this is the brand that they like, uh -huh. which we actually like this brand, get this brand. Get, a, you know, a, a couple of them. And then you got, of course, we like uh, well, Mrs. Chef, Butterworth. Chef life for this. Can yeah, last it's a little while? A long, again, make sure you look at all of your dates on there. Uh -huh. Look at, make sure you look at all your dates. Okay. And then, of course, those are suggestive shelf dates. Mm -hmm. That's coming from the um, the uh, grocery store. Okay. You know, telling you, Pam, okay, just hand me stuff. So we got cereal, of course. Right. Get you some cereal. Mm -hmm. Try to get stuff like this or the little boxes instead of the big old giant box because mm -hmm. that don't last long. I know. And then also this, you can use this as a bowl. Yeah, you can just true. put the milk in here, and, and then you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. trying to clean, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Same thing with oatmeal. Try to get stuff that's easy for you. All you do is add water in this. Right. But we got a bunch of oatmeal, because I told you, I, I prep for years. Uh -huh. But if this is just a quick one for the week, okay. right? Yeah. Um, you hand me the milk on top, right there. Try to get you some whole milk. Wow. 
to powder milk. Powdered milk. Yeah, remember powder milk. Not all powder milk is good. I know. So find one that you like, the brand that's good. Exactly. That you know that carton milk, that shelf carton milk. I hate that. I got that. I was prepping that. Mm -hmm. That is so nasty. What's so wrong? I said the I taste can't. Of it yeah, it was, even if you put it in the refrigerator oh, to get whoa, whoa. cold. I tried. It didn't work. Ooh. So get you a brand that, that you know. Better? Yes, get you a brand that you like because wow. it, it makes a difference. Okay. Okay. Put this. that over there. Yeah. Just hand me stuff. Okay. This is um, freeze dried bacon. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like a hundred strips of bacon in here. Wow. I won't open this until I absolutely have to. Wow. Okay, so wow. this is But bacon. you have to have a machine to do all that, don't you? Well, that's them. I bought this. Oh, you bought yeah, it? Yeah, I'm like not that. doing that. Yeah, oh, I bought this. Okay. So bacon and the same thing with eggs. Not all powdered eggs is good. Ooh, those are powdered eggs. These are powdered eggs and they're good. This mm. brand right here is good. Mm -hmm. And I've tried other ones and they're Old not good. Easy. I've tried all other ones and they're not good. Really? This one is good, y'all. Okay. 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 So put that over there. Mm -hmm. And then we got... I can my own bacon too. I started canning. Wow. So I can. That's a serious prepper. Yeah, I can my bacon. So, but I will use this last. This is, um, I can this in 20, in 2020. Ooh. It's still good. How long does it last? You can open up uh, canned food oh for a long God. time. Then we got, of course, the old staples. Potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> Even in the depression, they ate potatoes. Ah, yeah. They ate potato bread, potato everything. Yeah. Everything was potatoes. It was easy. Potatoes. So I have everything that was over there covered. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's move on. You did breakfast, right? That was a whole week mm -hmm. of breakfast that I just gave you. Mm. You you got pancakes, you got eggs, you got bacon, mm -hmm. you got potatoes. Y'all remember back in the day they fried up the potatoes mm -hmm. um, and put some onions in there, mm -hmm. smothered potatoes. Mm -hmm. That was breakfast. Some and people had little fancy dicers. You got like oatmeal, you got cereal. Mm -hmm. That's enough to get you through one week okay. of, of the of prepping. Now let's move on to lunch. Back of in the you day. You can't go wrong with Chef RD. Back in the day, y'all. Wow. Ravioli, spaghetti, beefaroni. Y'all uh -huh. know. Back in the day. Pop that can open and heat that up. You don't even need a can opener. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, stop. And you know what? Worst case scenario, you can eat this right out of the can. You don't even have to heat it up. Yeah. It just tastes better heat it up, but though. those preservatives though. Woo. I know. Again, these aren't the healthiest choices. This is pantry food, y'all. Mm -hmm. So you know it's loaded it's with healthy stuff. healthy people are probably looking at no. like no. Now, if you're a healthy person, you should have a garden. You should yeah. have a garden inside and outside your house. Doing and, this kind of stuff. And you should be canning. Yeah. And that's your that's your week. Yeah. Planned week yes. of good, wholesome food oh that God. you know that you pulled it out and canned it. That's true. We ain't there. So I'm giving y'all canned Some people stuff. Do, though. Some people do. Okay. Soups. My mom loves this soup, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is that ch dumpling, chicken and dumpling. Mm -hmm. So she regular soups, Lenore don't like. Like if you get um, chicken a noodle, that that regular I'm not chicken a canned noodle, soup person, she's not if a canned I have soup. To. But this kind of canned soup, get a nice hearty canned soup mm -hmm. or a nice hearty beef soup or yeah. something. So that's good for lunch. Okay. Another thing my sister don't like, and that's canned chili. Mm. She hates canned that chili. That brand. Maybe there's another brand. Try I, different I've brands. I've been more so long yeah. for years as a kid. Try different <laughs> Try different brands of chili. Oh, Lord. She can't like stand Sam, it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. When you've been <laughs> eating some for so many years, you got to nerd it with eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to do an egg and spam? Oh. There you go. Breakfast, uh, put that with the breakfast stuff, too. And put tough over times there. and tough times. There you go. Or, or just make your own chili. Make your own uh -oh. chili. Uh -oh. Get your you beans. Can. This is a staple. This is something you should have if you're prepping. Mm. You should always have beans. Okay. So get you some different kind of beans, mm -hmm. and you can make your own chili. That's true. So get you some tomato paste. You know, chili is probably one of the e most easiest things to make. So you don't you talking about meatless chili? Yeah, yeah, meat. Or you could put chop up some hot dogs or something and put it in there like back in the old days. That's true. So beans, since we're talking about beans, uh -huh. beans good for your heart. Everybody should have beans. Rice. Yep. Definitely rice. Get you some rice. Every country does rice. And different kind of rice. I oh, got the yellow rice too. Ooh, different okay. kinds of rice. Mm. Okay. Okay. Then I also got, if you don't want the big old giant potatoes, 
Oh, Get you these. Yeah, my mom ones. used to didn't want to have these because she was like, I don't want those instant potatoes. And then somebody, she went over to her friend's house and mm-hmm. she made some instant potatoes, mm-hmm. added some garlic and some butter mm-hmm. in there and some mm-hmm. milk. It was good. See, it's how you prepare. It's all it's in the preparation. How you prepare. Some people can take just canned stuff Thank and make you. it taste good. Now let's talk about dinner, right? Get you some of these little, like um, uh, hamburger, oh, helper hamburger helper or something. Helper, one of those ones that's already got okay. the pasta, the thing in there and all oh, of that. Oh, okay. So there you go. And then with Ooh, that is chillets. chicken. Yep. Chicken. You add chicken. So we got canned chicken. Mm-hmm. Add you some canned chicken in there. Okay. There you go. That's Make dinner. Make a meal out of that. Dinner. Chicken right there. Breast. Okay. Natural. Then you got tuna helper. Can't go Say, wrong. Can't go wrong with tuna helper. Helper, helper tuna helper. Add your Chicken can of helper. tuna. They got everything little helper. Helper, helpers. That's all. Okay. Dinner. This is dinner, y'all. This is dinner. Okay. Again, the old, the old, look, look, spaghetti. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong with spaghetti. Spaghetti would last. You can either get the jars of spaghetti sauce mm-hmm. or get the cans of spaghetti mm-hmm. sauce. The, I would say cans last longer, mm-hmm. but you could get jars or cans. Okay. Okay. And sticking with the old uh, pasta, we got fettuccine mm-hmm. and Alfredo you sauce. Do a little fancy. You want to do a little? Fa- oh, they add a little chicken in there. See, there you go. We got a little dinner now. You almost wish we the electricity went out after cooking. So now we can do it now. You got fettuccine, <laughs> with the Alfredo out. sauce, and you got some the canned people, chicken. Going back to the spam, some people have some recipes. Oh, yeah. Some nice recipes. Download yeah. you some. And there's ways to make it where it don't taste so salty. Yeah. Download some recipes for Spam and stuff. Yeah. Um. Oh, I, I skipped over this for lunch. Mm-hmm. Get these kind of bowls. You know how they oh, have yeah. those, those little quickies. Yeah. Now, a lot of people probably say high in sodium. High it is. In sodium. It is. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is. But it works. Yeah. And then so you Get don't have to just today. drink water all the time. Get you something like Crystal Light mm-hmm. or Kool-Aid that mm-hmm. already got the stuff in it. Mm-hmm. Sugar and all of that okay. so you don't have to. Like yeah. yeah. But Crystal Light is better because it's going to have the sugar in it. I can do it, but if it's hard time. Now. Because I don't like that aftertaste. For those of you who are already hooked on this, y'all already know Glory Greens and oh, stuff yeah, is good. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and you don't really have to doctor them up. You don't have to do you. anything. Open the can up and let it go. Okay. You don't have to add anything Some to it. Some people are picky about my mom. We have to. She wants r- my mom fresh, like green. Fresh, fresh, fresh green. Fresh green. Fresh vegetables. But this is, again, this is prepping for Ooh. emergency. Emergency. Okay. You can go out there and get them green. Right. You got to eat canned green. Same okay. thing with glory green beans. They're good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do nothing to them. You don't have to add nothing to them. Glory. I'm doing glory on everything. Hallelujah. (laughs) Glory. Glory. (laughs) Uh, 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 Glory. Get you some black glory. Black beans. (laughs) Or black eyed peas. And black beans. They got all kind of beans. Glory. Glory Glory. Glory goes a long way. So think of glory. I'm pushing them. We ain't getting paid for this, but I'm pushing them. Pay us. Get them. Again, this not the healthiest choices, y'all. Yeah. But canned fruit. Remember back in the day, your mama put some fruit cocktail. A lot of sugar. But remember back in the day. Mama used to put it in jello. She used to put jello. She used to put canned fruit in in jello and put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And that stuff was good. Mm -hmm. When you came in, it was cold. And it was jello good. Mold with the little jello mold. Y'all know y'all go to uh, baby showers and stuff. And the little jello cake, molds. Little butt cake. And they had fr- uh, uh, canned fruit in there. Yes, yes. You know they didn't chop that fruit up. That was canned That's fruit up canned in there. Fruit. So canned fruit. Little snack. You know, have some with your thing. You won't even know there's a food shortage. You got so much stuff going on. <laughs> And then, of course, your fruit cocktail. Okay. Your fruit wrong. cocktail. Okay, go wrong. And then I just brought this. Make sure you you rack up on your seasonings. Mm-hmm. Like I use this. I use this seasoning all the time. This okay, Goya. Goya. So use your, They're get your seasonings. I know. Get your seasonings, okay? Mm-hmm. All kind of seasonings. Because mm-hmm. it you can do- boring. use it to doctor up things. That's and then it gets boring. If all yeah. you eating is rice mm-hmm. with no, you, you know, want to add you to add something rice. in there and you like, and then there's there's all kind of canned meats. Mm-hmm. There's canned corned beef, canned mm-hmm. roast beef. Mm-hmm. I got all kind of canned meat, y'all. Okay. Can, they had a canned like sausage. Vegetarian. I will never buy canned sausage again. I bought canned sausage on Amazon. That stuff showed up. I opened that can up. It looked like potted meat. Ooh, and it was it sticky. Sure did. It was so nasty. I said, what what is this? And on the on the thing, it had to look like real sausage. That I was like, I should have known. The picture was deceiving. 
Well, Vegetarians, um, again, pasta, mm-hmm. rice, okay. your stuff, your beans, stuff. yeah, your meatless things, yeah, your meatless things, mm-hmm. and things that can last long, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. But if again, this is I'm showing you quick stuff that you can go out and get to last for at, at least, least a week, one week, yeah. Then broaden it. Hopefully, your kids and your family not eating up your. No, stuff this stuff should prepping. be in your pantry. Then you broaden it. For the- this is somebody had taken right. it to eat it. Broaden it. Say, yeah. okay, I did one week. Okay. Let me do two weeks. Let me plan two weeks. Mm-hmm. Let me plan three weeks. I got two weeks out. Let me plan three weeks. Get to where you have at least one month. <coughs> People get all scared too. Doomsday. Doomsday. What is you saying? Why we got to do this? Mm-hmm. Then right. you tell them you never know what is going to happen. I got two words for you. What? Baby formula. Oh. <laughs> because people was talking about baby formula wow. or prepping channels yeah. long before yeah. it was out of baby formula. Yeah. And people were saying, oh, you preaching doom stuff. Right. Oh, you guys just preaching. And then when the shelves didn't have any, Ooh, people was hard like, when somebody hit oh, people. you're right. Ooh, we have a shortage. You never know. You or it could just be your favorite stuff is just not there. Right. It's just not coming in. Right. And it, and it could be a number of reasons why. Or even things going on why you can't get out exactly. to get more of it. Exactly. So. I'm noticing more and more because I order from Walmart mm-hmm. food. A lot of the stuff they got to ship. I'm noticing that. Are any of you guys noticing that too? If you order online at Walmart, mm-hmm. some of the stuff is in store, in stock, and some of the stuff they have to ship. Oh my! And goodness. they and it was stuff that in the back before mm-hmm. it was in stock. Now why you got to ship it all the time? See, that's not so. Good. That's not good. Right. That means you either holding you you holding on to the mm-hmm. ones that's in the store mm-hmm. for people that come in to buy, mm-hmm. and you don't have none in the back. Ooh. Or you're, it's a breakdown in the food supply, which is what I feel, mm-hmm. and things are going to take longer. Mm-hmm. It could be something as simple. Get, look at what's going on with the airlines and the pilots are picketing. I know. What happens if the truck drivers pick it? Oh, no. Your food won't get there. The what happens? What happens? there to be replenished. You said what happens if the groceries, the grocery people that work at the grocery store mm-hmm. all start picking it? And it goes over a week to a month to two months. Because look how long it took them to get the baby formula. Exactly. Fix. So you should always, this is common sense mm-hmm. stuff, mm-hmm. always have pantry food. Mm-hmm. Ready to go when you have Now, to. if you want to get into major prepping, again, that might be a whole channel that we'll start on just prepping. Mm-hmm. Because that's a whole nother way to Reserve, preserve rice for a long period of time. Mm-hmm. Like flour. Mm-hmm. If you want to make your bread, you would get mm-hmm. bread. You get uh, flour. You would get your sugar. Okay. You would get your yeast. You can freeze yeast. Wow. You can get all of that stuff. And I would tell you to have all of that stuff. Have it preserved. Mm-hmm. And then if you need to make your own bread, you can make your own bread. See? You don't have to go out and have somebody make it for you. That's true. So, okay. but right now we're just doing one on one basic. Prepping. Okay. Just basic prepping. And hitting all areas. Exactly. Okay. So do you think that everything we went over, because the North's not really a prepper. I'm Mm-mm. the prepper. Mm-mm. Do you think all the stuff we went over, do you feel comfortable that if we wasn't able to leave for, for a week. For whatever reason. For a we week. We could not get out. One week. You think we'll be comfortable enough to eat yeah, this food? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because even though I may do this at the spam. Right. When I'm home. Or the canned chili. But you can make real chili. I have beans. And then, too, if it's doctored up really well. Some exactly. People, some people are good with seasoning. Some people know how to cook. Adding, you know, a little bit of pepperica or mm-hmm. whatever is needed to bring the taste to it where you're like, ooh. Like those noodles we used to take to school. College. Ramen noodles. You could doctor There's those recipes up. recipes for that. You could doctor. You could add this stuff. I've seen people add this in there. Wow. And stuff. Okay, so. So we're okay. Comment down below. Mm-hmm. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any ideas or anything that, that we missed or things, suggestions, things mm-hmm. that you, cause some of y'all are preppers, things that you can, that you can suggest that people can look at and say, oh, that's a good idea. I could do that. Some people could just do the pancakes and the syrup every day for breakfast. 
Mm-hmm. And then some people don't need three meals a day. Right, right. Some people, if they eat bread, if they eat pancakes and sir, and that syrup in the morning, they good. Yeah. To the, the cha- to the night, they I mean, and they good. They don't have to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The only cha- the challenges you may face is if you have a kids. You have a lot of kids. That's why I would say make sure that you prep mm-hmm. for your kids. And get stuff that they. But like. you know what? You should be y'all should be priming them already. Them rab- that ravioli I showed y'all. Yeah. We grew up on that ravioli. You better sit your butt down Jeff and eat Bar-D. that ravioli. You better sit down and eat them spaghettios, mm-hmm. macaroni and cheese. Mm-hmm. I didn't yep. show y'all that. Get some boxes of macaroni yeah, and cheese. Yeah, because them commercials where the little girl was running around and mom chasing her. And what kid don't like cereal? I know, especially the real sweet And the ones. powder milk, you can't tell. We used to eat drink powder milk when, back in the day. We didn't mm-hmm. have no money. When mm-hmm. it was on the uh, food stamps, I think and back in the day it was cheese. food stamps. <laughs> and government big cheese. Old box. That big old box. That big old giant big old cheese that don't cheese. melt. You know if it ain't melting on the outside, it ain't melting on the inside. So we was Ooh. eating all of that stuff. That cheese probably still inside oh, of us. Oh, my God. We're 50 years old, 50, 60, yes. and that cheese is probably still in that us. cheese in that big old box. Yes. That's but that funny. made the best sandwiches. Yeah. yeah. So, and Velveeta, I didn't bring that out. Get right. some Velveeta shelf Velveeta. That stays on the shelf forever. <laughs> you can put some Velveeta cheese on the shelf and be there for 10 years. Jesus, come back. And make them some grilled cheese sandwiches yep, or something. Yep, so that's yep. kids. And then cereal. What kid don't like cereal? Yeah. And any kind of milk, they won't really taste it because the cereal is it's, covered. It's, it's covered with sugar. Mm-hmm. You can't even tell that that's powdered mm-hmm. milk. That's so. funny. All right, y'all. So that was a quick one. Mm-hmm. That was us just getting you guys ready mm-hmm. for um, what's going to, I believe, what's going to happen. If it doesn't happen by the end of this year, I definitely believe that there will be food shortages. You will start oh, to see. We'll start seeing next it. Next year. Little by little. But I think you're going to see it this year. I think Ooh, you're going to see it this year. This I think it's, I think, I think it's inevitable. I think it's inevitable. It's more people on the planet. And again, it could be anything. It could be weather. It could be, it's our, our chain is so, it's, oh, it's, it, you can't have one kink in it. Uh-huh. One kink in the chain will mess up. Right. A domino effect. Re- remember when those um things got stuck out, those um boats got stuck out on the ocean? That slowed down <laughs> mm-hmm. stuff. It could be anything, y'all. Anything. So just common sense, have stuff just in your have pantry. Something in your pantry prepared. In your pantry, y'all. Real All simple. I'm asking for, I, I always it seems like every prepping video I've just been. All I'm asking for is one week. Just give us one week. That's it. One week. That's mm-hmm. all. Save one week of food. Just one week. Plan out your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm-hmm. And snacks. Mm-hmm. And and something to drink. Other than water. Because after right. a while, you're going to be like, uh-uh, I need something in that water. Right. Just plan Remember it out for one week. drink tang? We yeah. Drink tang. Don't, uh-uh, don't bring that over here. Tang. But like that's tang. it. I don't like tang, no. See, okay, so. I like this <laughs> We did tank in college. No, I don't like tank. Th- think of college. If you went to college, how was we eating in college? Popcorn. We was eating tang, popcorn, pizza, all that stuff. Pizza overnight, the next day, cold. It didn't matter. And you can make up homemade pizza. Mm-hmm. Pizza is just bread and, and sauce. Pizza too. Yeah. That's so, a healthy one. All right, y'all. So that was another, another Woods, Woods report. report. See you later.